Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am here to check in for the third week of June. So basically I'm going to see what we spent so far for the month, compare it to our budget, and put together a game plan for the rest of the month. When I'm filming this, I'm currently waiting to hear back from the lawyers regarding our clothes. If everything goes perfectly we will be closing on our new house tomorrow which is really exciting so budget wise things are going to look very different when we initially created our june budget we weren't thinking that we would move in until like maybe the very last day of june so we thought a lot of the moving expenses and stuff would happen in july but um, we'll kind of see how that goes. So pray that everything works out. We have our clear to close from the mortgage company. So really now it's just like the seller's lawyers getting everything scheduled and everything. So fingers crossed everything goes okay today. Um, it's been a wild ride, let me tell you. Okay, so for the categories that we're going to track, we're gonna track groceries, eating out, household, gas for our cars, and then anything that may be unbudgeted. So I put together a like expense tracking setup in my monthly view, um, and the last time that I checked in was right around the 14th, and I know that because when I do include something in a check-in, I make sure to put a check mark next to it. So anything that's doesn't have a check mark means that it wasn't included in last week's check-in. I complete these check-ins usually around like Tuesday or Wednesday, but honestly it just depends on when I'm filming because what I try and do is I try and include the grocery trip for the week and usually that's done on Mondays. So that's kind of a little overview of that. So we're going to start with anything grocery related. So it looks like we had Aldi of 812 and then Jewel 612. We've just been doing small trips. I think Jewel, Jason just okay, picked up. So have Jewel there. And then he also went to Jewel and just got like milk and some fruit and things like that. That was 2670. Because we are potentially moving this week, we decided to just kind of eat what we had at Jason's parents' house. And also, we have some play dates set up, so we knew that we would be eating out a little bit more this week just to, you know, make things a little bit easier. It's so fun during the summertime because with play dates and stuff, you know, there's lots of fun things for the girls to do. But it also makes it a little goofy with with shopping and meal planning and all of that just because by the time you get done with a play date, like after Macy already has camp, it's pretty late. Usually the kids need baths and like there just isn't a lot of time extra. So I think once we move into the new house, we'll have to be a little bit more creative with some like super easy quick meals so that we're not eating out as much. But again, we're just in this transition period. So I honestly don't care if we're eating out more often it honestly it doesn't matter at this point so for groceries we spent 40.94 last time we checked in we had 344.50 so we currently have 303.56 and we technically only have one week remaining so that's what we have for the last week of course our eating out is going to be more expensive so we'll have to offset that but it's kind of nice to have $300 because I know when we move in, we're going to need like all the condiments, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, salad dressings, like all the things that you normally would have in a fridge. Like we got rid of all of that because we didn't have room to store it at Jason's parents' house. So anyway, it'll be good to start off with that. Next is going to be eating out. So that's going to be anything in this peach color. So McDonald's of 1087. I honestly don't remember what that was for. Um, Portillo's 1790. I took my dad out to lunch that day. We went to Culver's with the girls. That was 3743. And we've kind of come to the realization that we're done getting Mila her own kids meal. She just does not eat enough to make it worth it. So I think we're just going to give her a little bit of ours going forward. Um, so we had Culver's. Duncan 1429 that was just for um, donuts and breakfast sandwiches. We walked up to Duncan one day. McDonald's, this was for our before church breakfast. So what we've been doing recently is we um, will get up, get the girls ready, we'll grab McDonald's breakfast on the way to church. Then after church, Macy has swim lessons. And then after that, 
we have like lunch and stuff at home but um having breakfast in the morning like making breakfast is kind of difficult right now just again transition so um we'll have to get better about that and then we got mickey's hot dogs last night after a play date that was 14.75 and then me and macy stopped for dairy queen that was 502. So eating out brought us to a total of 112.78. I think a huge part of that was just like the extra lunch with my dad. And then Culver's was, you know, almost $40. So that's quite a bit of money. Um, so eating out was 112.78. Last time we checked in, we had 66.21, which means that we are over budget by $46.57. I'm not worried about it because when I take a look at all of the food combined, groceries and eating out, we still have $250. So again, I think for the meantime, like during this whole move situation, I'm going to look at those combined. But going forward, I think both me and Jason are on the same page that we really want to eat more at home. Um, Health-wise, it's just better for our family, but also cost-wise, it's better. So that's something that we will be working on. It's just not happening right now. Um, next is going to be household, I believe. Yes, household. So Jason picked up a few things from Ace this week. He spent $9.71 on Wednesday and then $19.39 on Friday. I believe Friday he had to buy like pellets for his um, smoker. I'm not sure what he got this day, so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, um, that is it for household related items. So that brought us to a total of 29.10. And last time we checked in, we had 44.02. So we have 14.92 remaining. And that's, this is one of the areas where I think we will for sure be over because again, like I mentioned, we kind of let things run out when we knew that we were moving. So we have no toilet paper, we have no trash bags, like all the things that you need to have a home, I feel like we don't have. So we will definitely be picking that up. I'm just, I'm trying to debate how I wanna handle it because I could just make, you know, our household be over. Um, but the thing is we, are expecting some refunds and I've mentioned this before we got hundred and eighty two dollars back from Xfinity our escrow we should be getting um, a little bit over twenty two hundred dollars back and then our home insurance we should be getting about five hundred dollars back so I was thinking about putting all of these refunds into a sinking fund account that just says like new home and have like all of the little things that go into like you know moving into a new home come out of there for example um, our house was renovated, so we're going to need to put up blinds everywhere. There's no blinds, no curtains, anything anywhere. So for the girls' room and for our room, we need to put up, like, the blackout blinds so we can sleep in. Um, so I know that's going to be, you know, a couple hundred dollars to do that. So I was just thinking it might make more sense to just combine all of these and put it into a sinking fund. And then as we need things for the house, we can do it that way. Um, so maybe, like, you know all the new condiments, all the like paper towels and all the stuff that goes along with, you know, needing to stock up a house. Maybe it'll all come from that. I, I honestly don't know. I have been keeping track of all the expenses related to buying a house. We had to pay for an appraisal. We had to pay for an inspection. I had to put a deposit down for movers. So those are all things that I'm tracking kind of separately. And I'm including that as part of like our um, like savings, like coming from our savings, because we've been saving for a new house for a long time. So we have money set aside for that. So maybe I'll do it similar to that. I honestly don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it, but we'll kind of see as, as you know, we get further into the process. Next is going to be gas for our cars. So we both have filled up. Jason spent $51.33 on the RAV4. He also got a car wash, which comes out of the same account that's three dollars and then my prius was 44.22 so that brings us to a total spent for gas this week of 98.55 98 98.55 last time we checked in we had 186.07 so we still have 87 dollars and 52 cents and i think we will need that but i think we should be using less gas 
going forward because again now we're going to be closer to work and all of that stuff so we're good there and then i don't think we've had anything unbudgeted so that's awesome we can put zero there um so that's good I'm trying to think if there's anything else i think that's about it i like i said i've been tracking some of the refunds here we haven't received any except for we did receive the xfinity one and i was thinking what i want to do is like highlight the ones that we did receive just so i know that we have them um also if you're wondering what this stuff is here i do keep track of our discover rewards we get we use a discover credit card for everything and we pay it off completely at the end of the month um but we do get quite a bit of rewards every month and so there are certain things that we use that rewards for um when me and macy or when i go by myself to get my nails done i um i use it from there it's just kind of like an easier way to do it i also keep forgetting to cancel audible so that's another thing that like i'm just taking out of there but i was thinking going forward it would be nice to save some of that money for like extra christmas stuff so we'll kind of see there but um so far pretty good and then in terms of sinking funds let's see i went to Ulta and picked up a bunch of face wash and things like that. Um, end up came, it ended up coming out to one twelve oh two. I have plenty of money in that account. I think right now I have like $180. So we're good there. We went to a birthday party. So we picked up some stuff that was five sixty three. Jason has been doing some golfing and he's been going to the driving range. So he spent $8 one time, $14 another. Our tolls got replenished. That was $20. Again, Jason went golfing. Um, on Father's Day, that was $50 combined. Macy had a dentist appointment and we had to pay $27.53. And then me and Jason both had like our, our six month checkup at the dentist. I had to get some work done, that was $130.98. And then Jason took Ma Mila to the splash pad and that was $6 for that. So those are all of the sinking funds and everything there. Um, so far, so good. I think again, Right now, we're just kind of up in the air about the house, and I think the house will change things a little bit with our budget, but so far, I'm really happy where we're, where we're at. And again, I'll just kind of keep tracking expenses and keeping track of everything, and once I figure out how I want to record all the moving-related expenses, I'll let you guys know. Because I do have, like, if you have an Erin Condren monthly planner, you know that in the front of the planner, there's six boxes. And I kind of have a little setup where I'm keeping track of like what we've saved every single month. So what I want to make sure that I do is like if I do keep track of things separate for those related expenses, I do want to make sure I somehow record that in that space where I have my savings tracker because I want to make sure that like that savings track your tracker is accurate. The only problem is, again, I'm taking money out of savings, but like also with our down payment, it's, I would almost have to add, well, I guess I would just do the difference. Yeah, I would probably just do the difference between what we're putting down and um, like subtract out what we received from selling our house because that would be like what we actually took out of savings. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. I think honestly with some of this stuff, you just have to find the way that works best and like makes the most sense for you. No one else is looking at it besides you and your family. So again, just make sure that you're happy with how you're recording things and how things look. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So again, just pray that things go well with us with the closing. And that is it from me today. Definitely keep an eye out for tomorrow's plan with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.